This is uh, this is Megan McCain is. It's an all hands on deck moment for Megan McCain, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know what's interesting about this is like the unif. I, I I'm still amazed about this era that we're in, that there is not even any pretend. And I guess we could expect it, right? I mean the the Republican platform literally consisted of no policy points. It was just we support Donald Trump. Um, and to the extent that Donald Trump has any sort of famous policy points, it is, um, it's a damn shame of what's happening with, with uh, black athletes kneeling. And then it's a damn shame with the black entertainers doing X, Y, or Z. Or it's a damn shame with black people doing this or that. Or we should slam heads of these uh, Black Lives Matters protesters. That that was the policy thing, and so you, you see a lot of that. Um, here's Megan McCain, apparently not aware uh, that, um, well, just feeling that athletes shouldn't protest. I think in regards to the athlete protesting. I've spent the last year and a half hearing every argument possible and understanding why athletes protest in the United States of America, like Colin Kaepernick. The problem I have is this woman is doing this internationally, and if anyone just saw Vladimir Putin's recent uh, speech when he met with President Biden, he's using the propaganda that America is an irredeemable crap hole against us, saying you think your country's so great over there? Look at BLM. Look at everything that's happening in your country. You don't even treat your people correctly. At the same time where he's literally imprisoning people, and we're having our enemies and propagandic dictators using our own propaganda against us, which in turn turns into a real national security risk. My other problem with this is I don't understand why we all can't have shared experiences in this space or have our own stories because for some reason my relationship with the flag isn't allowed anymore. My love of, of the American flag, my love of the national anthem. Well, wait, it's wait, 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 like, how is her love of the American flag not allowed anymore? She's literally sitting on uh, one of the biggest broadcast platforms that exists in the world. Telling someone they're not allowed to do what she doesn't want them to do. Yes, yeah, saying like, I don't think uh, what your protest is legitimate, but I'm not allowed to talk about how much I love the flag. Are you kidding? You could have dedicated this entire thing to a love story or a poem about the flag. But instead you spent your, your, your moments on this massive platform talking about other people shouldn't be protesting security risk. My other problem with this is I don't understand why we all can't have shared experiences in this space or have our own stories because for some reason my relationship with the flag isn't allowed anymore. My love of, of the American flag, my love of the national anthem. And I know that it's very triggering for people and people get very upset when I talk about my dad for whatever reason, which is why I've really stopped doing it on the show unless it's really meaningful to me. But when I was growing up every year on Christmas, he would tell me a story about when he was in prison being tortured and his cellmate, a man named Mike Christian, had sewn the American flag using scraps of material he found in prison into his prison garden. Every morning, they would say this, the Pledge of Allegiance to what was sewn into his prison garb. One day, the Vietnamese captors found that and beat the living crap out of Mike Christian to the point that his eyes and his body was so badly injured that he could barely move. And the second that he was able to move again, do you want to know the first thing Mike Christian started doing, he started re-sewing the American flag into his prison garb so his cellmates could say the Pledge of Allegiance and remember what they were doing and what they were fighting for in prison for America. So excuse me if I don't think some of these athletes are representing America in the same way. And for some of us, I will die for this. I will die on this hill that it is not appropriate or patriotic to go to a foreign country where you're supposed to be representing America and act like it's just about you. It's not about you. It's about all of us. Oof. And I want to say that she's speaking metaphorically. I don't think she's going to die for this at all. She's put her body on the line. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, um, can I just ask, Vietnam, what, that wasn't a good war, was it? Like, I'll just say, like, the, that if, if it wasn't for how people like her treat the flag, maybe they, they wouldn't have been in that prison of war camp. Uh, that's right. And I would also imagine that that exercise was as much about maintaining some semblance of sanity as it was about sheer patriotism. Um, 
But I don't understand what is it that she thinks that they were doing. I mean, it's a it's a classic case. And she has the opportunity to tell that story. I also I would be lying if I didn't think it was a weird story to tell your kid on Christmas. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on with that. Maybe she misspoke. Like, I could understand that, like, every July 4th, my dad would tell me this story. Uh, but it seems like a weird thing to celebrate on Christmas. Um, let me, but, you know, and maybe maybe that is a cry for help. Uh, that uh, She felt traumatized by that story when she was younger. Um, but it's unclear to me, like, why, like, Colin Kaepernick was okay because it was in this country. Are, are they aware of TVs, of, like, like, you know, of, like, of the fact that, People around the world knew that Colin Kaepernick was doing that. Like it wasn't the idea that it was on foreign soil uh, was not is not that uh, big of a deal. This this woman earned that platform. Frankly, earned that platform with all due respect to Meghan McCain in a way that Meghan McCain never had to earn anything uh, in that regard. And if Meghan McCain's last name was Megan Cedar, for that matter. She would not be on that show. If it was Megan Jones, she would not be on that show. She would not have that platform. That woman earned their platform, and she can use it in any way that she deems um, fit, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, there certainly can be rules that are imposed on, on her, you know, when she's up there, I guess. Uh, by the sponsoring bodies if she wants to participate in it. Uh, I can disagree or agree with those rules at any given point, but to say that if she has the ability to do that, that she didn't earn it. How much money did Meghan McCain donate to the, you know, to these amateur athletes to train? That's what I want to know. Talk about a shared experience. How about you share that experience? Shared experiencing is she's like, can't we have our own shared experiences in this space or our own stories, which are two contradictory things to have. Um, and can't we have shared experiences that I get to dictate? Yeah, shared experience. Can't we all have shared experiences where our dad was a senator who was also a military uh, veteran POW? Why, do, why don't we all share this same feeling towards the flag where my dad tells me the story every Christmas? Like, <laughs> probably because we didn't go through that, Megan. Take my word for it. That seems to if be... If you had to listen to that story before presents every year, uh, you might feel some way about the flag too, but I think that's like more like Pavlovian that's why I became. That's why I became a Jew. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I was just finishing my lunch. I ordered the Crowder. It was really good. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button. Thank you. Can't do it without you.